Hello everyone and welcome to the third Moonstone Pack air poll, or I guess the preliminary poll. We haven't chosen a finalist just yet, but that's why we're here to vote on which of the five wolves in the video we want to see advance to the final to be voted on as potential heir. And uh, just as a reminder, uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, the poll will be on the JPlays2 channel on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, take a look in the comments and video description. Hopefully I'll be able to include a link in the video description on Twitch as well. If not, you can find the poll by going to JPlays2 on YouTube and uh, looking for this video there where there'll be a link for it. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Uh, again, I'm quite new to uploading things or to uploading videos to Twitch. I'm used to the streaming side of it, so hopefully everything works as intended. Uh, if not, we'll figure this out as we go along. But uh, we're going to go ahead and look through the five wolves of the final litter of the Moonstone pack with Peregrine and Remus. This is the one that we played on Accurate. And fortunately, our puppies did survive. And these are the survivors. So if you want to see that story, see what they were like as pups, then go ahead and you can do that in the 13th through 16th episodes of Peregrine and Remus's story uh, of Peregrine's quest here on the, hopefully, well, you can see that on the J Plays 2 channel on YouTube. YouTube. I think most of it is probably no longer up on Twitch, <laughs> but uh, you can watch those episodes there. And first up, we have the 8F Wolf here, the 8F Moon member of the er, 8F member of the Moonstone Pack, if I can get my words straight. And that would be Wish. So Wish's coat is kind of a special one. She actually got one of the NPC exclusives, and it's a very pretty one at that. She's got kind of this nice brownish stripe on her face. And uh, she does have the genetic black coat color. All of the puppies have that from this. All 15 of them managed to get that. And they all would have the, uh, the black-gray combination because Peregrine had a gray coat. And so if they have a black coat, then they can only possibly have one gene because she didn't carry it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and look at uh, Wish's eyes as well. They're this really pretty yellow. Get a bit of closer look at her face here. Very, very beautiful wolf. I love this coat, honestly. This is like, I, this is one of my favorite coats for sure. Uh, and it is one of the NPC exclusive ones. So it can only turn up in dispersals and puffs. So she kind of lucked out there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to her howl. <coughs> She got the classic Nostalgia Howl from the original game, and then for secondary... A little bit of a wavery one, but a very, very pretty one still. Uh, again, we're not going to see anything for the ears or body unless they happen to roll a radio collar, but if you're a member of my Patreon, you can find this video there and comment down in the comments on that post if you have an idea for maybe our wolves got a torn ear somehow. Maybe something happened and uh, they, they have an injury that causes their ear to be bent a little bit. Or any of these options, if you can think of a story for the customization, we can turn it on potentially, and you can comment that idea down, and I might use some of them for our wolf canon stories. So if you're a member of Patreon, that's something you are able to do, and a way you can contribute to the series. But we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at her stats. So she has plus one strength, plus one stamina, minus one speed, minus one health. So she's not as fast and she doesn't have as much health, but she does have a good bit of strength, and she does have quite a lot of endurance. And of course, she is the 8th member of the Moonstone Pack, and uh, the seventh female pup to be born, with Peregrine being 1F as the founding matriarch. We can't see her personality, but all of them were pretty bold. Uh, Peregrine and Remus both were, and their puppies seem to have taken after them quite a lot. I wouldn't say she was the boldest pup in the litter, but she definitely was quite a character. Next up, we have... River! River is the 8M member of the Moonstone Pack, and I believe this is actually uh, one of the uh, NPC exclusive coats as well. I don't recognize it or see it in any of the coats listed here, and it's got a lot more white in it than I remember any of the NPCs or any of the normal coats actually having. So I think this is one of the NPC ones as well, a little bit of a variation off of that. Uh, he has those kind of signature bright eyes. We seem to see that combination quite a lot with this pack, because I think both Peregrine and Remus have some pretty, pretty intense eyes. And if we listen to his howl here... He's got kind of a little bit of a higher howl, and then for secondary... That 
one's a really high-pitched one, so he has a very, very, very high-pitched howl for a second one, a little bit of a higher one for his first one. Again, we're not going to see much here, but he did seem to roll the radio collar, so that is something that presumably happened to him between the time he was a pup and the time he became an adult. He was apparently collared by scientists somewhere along the way. Uh, if we look at his stats, too, he has minus two strength, plus one stamina, plus two speed, minus one health. So a lot like Peregrine's what I remember of it, but even more exaggerated. Uh, a little bit more even intense than hers was. So that's something that uh, is uh, interesting to see. So he would have quite the ability to run, but not as much ability to fight, for sure, with that lower strength and lower health. Uh, again, we can't really see personality, but we can. he was probably pretty bold. Old. We can probably infer that much. All the puppies really were. And uh, he is the uh, seventh male member, or the seventh, seventh male puppy, eighth male member of the Moonstone Pack. And then next up we have Puma. And she is one of the puppies from the third litter as well. She is the 9F puppy. She has these really interesting gray eyes and again this very, very nice NBC coat with the nice brown streak up the nose, which is always, I, this, that's one of the pr prettiest coats in my opinion. <laughs> I really like this one. I mean, they're all, they're all great. They're all great. I can't pick a favorite, but like, I, I just, I don't know what it is, but I love that little brown streak. It's got so much character. Uh, and she has these really pale eyes as well. These almost, almost kind of gray green eyes uh, that's kind of it kind of lives up to her name kind of the uh, almost the the kind of I don't know pale sort of I guess, I guess cat eyes can be gold too but I don't I don't know it's kind of kind of feels like almost almost a cat color in some ways um it reminds me of her name and she certainly was quite the character as well if we listen to her howls here <laughs> She also got that kind of classic nostalgia howl, and then for secondary... A little bit of a higher pitched one. Again, with these, we're not going to decide on that right now, but we may, if you guys are on the Patreon, you may have the chance to contribute to that. You can comment your ideas. Uh, as for her stats, she has plus two stamina, plus one strength, minus one speed, and minus two health. So she's not that, she doesn't have that much uh, health, and she's a little bit on the slower side, but she has endurance for sure, and a good bit of strength as well. It's kind of kind of interesting, a little almost opposite to her name in that regard, because cougars are very much ambush predators, but she's very much uh, an, an endurance sort with that plus two stamina there. Um, she is the 9th member of the Moonstone Pack, and the 8th female pup to be born. We can't see her personality, but boy do I remember it, because this pup, when she was a puppy, she wandered everywhere. She was always just getting herself into trouble and almost disappearing, and oh my goodness, she is absolutely a mischief maker. And uh, <laughs> I, I definitely will remember chasing after her. So she would probably be a bit of an impish wolf. Definitely very, very bold. And not, not afraid of too much, honestly. She definitely made her mark on the Moonstone pack. That is for sure. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, look at our fourth member of this video. And that's going to be... Aurora! So Aurora is the 10F member of the pack, the 9th female born into it, and she has the 926F coat. I think she may be the only one who didn't get an NPC coat, but I think this is the one that her father had, so Remus's genes are still very, very strong, that is for sure. Uh, and if we look at her eyes, she got these kind of almost greeny gold sort of ones. They're very, very pretty and very, very bright. We got a lot of, again, of that very light eye color against the very dark coat. If we listen to her howl... She's got a pretty elegant, kind of low howl there, and then for secondary... A bit of a higher one, sounds like. Again, we're not going to see too much with these customizations, unless you guys are interested in contributing on the Patreon and putting some of those ideas there. You can find the link to that in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and potentially Twitch too, if I remember to add it. Um, but yeah, so you, if you guys are a member of the Patreon, you have the chance to contribute some ideas to that and possibly have a role in determining some aspects of a wolf's look and uh, potential backstory. 
If we look at her stats, though, she has minus two strength, plus one stamina, plus two speed, and minus one health. So again, a bit of an exaggerated version of what I remember Peregrine's stats were, I'm pretty sure. So uh, very fast, can run for a good distance, but not as strong and doesn't have quite as much health. Uh, and then she is the 10F member of the Moonstone pack, uh, and her personality is formed as a pup, but again, all of them were pretty bold, and that does include Aurora, so she would probably be a pretty bold wolf as well, uh, pretty quick to rush in and not, not afraid of too much. And then finally, last but not least, we have Hawk! And I believe this is, uh, once again, an NPC coat. I'm pretty sure. I don't see it in the list. And it has a lot more white on it than I remember any of them having. I think it may be the NPC variation of Remus's coat, actually. It's got kind of a little light V underneath on the neck, too, which is pretty cool. You can see he got these lighter colored eyes as well. He has these very bright yellow, very striking ones. And then if we go ahead and we listen to his howl here... He's got a bit of a higher pitched howl there, and then for a secondary. Pretty intense one, so that sounds about right for him, <laughs> I think. And then again with these, we'll leave that open to those of you maybe on the Patreon if you want to contribute ideas to that. Uh, but as for his stats, he was the runt of the litter. And uh, so he has some pretty lowered stats. He's got minus two strength, minus one stamina, minus one health, but neutral speed. So still still quite like uh, quite like Peregrine stats, but uh, a little bit little bit as a, at a disadvantage. He'd definitely be a trickier wolf to play, but uh, he could introduce some fun challenges perhaps. We'll have to see if that is what you guys decide. We'll see how that goes. Uh, he is the ninth, uh, the ninth M member of the Moonstone Pack, the eighth male pup, and of course he is the offspring of Peregrine and Remus. And again, we can't see personality, but all of them were pretty bold. And that is going to conclude the third poll, so this will be the final one. Once these have run for a little bit of time, then we'll take the winner of each of the three polls, and we'll run those three wolves against each other in another round of voting to choose the actual heir. So that'll be coming up in a bit once you guys have voted between the sets that we've put out. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to drop a follow so that you can see it when we're playing through these stories live and get to follow both. Currently, we're running Frodo's story. And once these polls are done, we'll be moving into whichever of these wolves you guys have chosen. So we'll get to do that, and that should be pretty fun. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, though, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.